It's July 2nd, I'm in the plant room, and I'm on a shelf here that is holding the new orchids that I purchased at Lowe's in Buffalo, New York, yesterday on my shopping trip across the border. Um, so basically we have two sizes of Better Grow Orchids. These are all from the Sunbulb company in Arcadia, Florida. I've been in touch with them frequently. They have great customer service on um, Facebook and probably on other social media uh, outlets as well. But basically I've been in touch with them to find out exactly when they were going to be delivering their shipment of orchids to Buffalo. Um, because it is uh, in the northern U.S., uh, northeastern U.S., um, they don't ship as frequently as perhaps in Florida, for example. Um, so it is dependent on weather. So Western New York probably gets only a few shipments a year, if that. And um, this past Friday was their shipment day. So the stores received their delivery of orchids. So we've got uh, seven varieties here. We have four of the small ones. These were each $6.98. They are considered um, seedling size and three larger ones that are closer to blooming size that were $12.98. So all in all, a really great purchase because these came in at a total of less than $70. And that may seem like a lot, but for um, Canadian orchid collectors, seven orchids for 70 bucks is a pretty good deal. You wouldn't find these that cheap or you probably wouldn't find them at all, period, here. Um, if you did find them, you would find them at a specialty nursery and you, you would be paying a lot. Something like this size, you'd probably be paying minimum of 25 to $30. Um, if it's in bloom, more, you'd be paying way more. So the nice thing I like about these orchids is that they come with a picture. They're actually packaged in mesh bags when you purchase them. So these I've already unpackaged. I haven't repotted them yet. I'm just uh, letting them get settled, putting them under some grow lights, giving them a bit of water just to rehydrate them. Although they're in very good shape because they were just shipped from Florida about a week ago. Um, so I will repot them eventually because I do want these seedlings to kind of um, put out new roots in fresh medium so that I don't have to repot them um, too quickly after that. And they have the tags on each of them, the labels, that tells you exactly what variety they are. So what hybrid they are or if they're cross or whatever their parentage is, um, you'll see it on the tag. So that's really nice because you get a specific, uh, you, get a, you get all the information that you need on each of these orchids. So that's it, I'll just pan over. I'm not gonna go through each variety, but um, I did show the labels for each one. So, and they're all Cattleyas, I should mention that. So again, these you would not find at a home improvement store in Canada. They just don't carry Cattleyas. Anyway, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions about specific varieties, please leave a message in the comments box below. And if you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe. And I'm sorry for the shakiness. I am on the iPad and just kind of holding it with my hands. Um, have a great long weekend if you are in Canada or in the States. And um, we'll see you later. Bye.